cowpoke been riding out one dark and windy day. Upon a ridge he rested as he went along his way. When all at once a mighty herd of red-eyed cows he saw a plowing through the ragged skies and up a cloudy draw. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another night of Canadian Championship Wrestling from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. We are here at the Ottawa Auditorium. I am Edmund Vincent, and you are joining us for a stellar night of professional wrestling. We have three matches on the show. It is February 10th, 1950. The first match is Al Mills versus Sky Hiley. Let's head down to the ring. Lord Alfred Mills, currently the Canadian the Canadian heavyweight champion out of Calgary and the NWA Idaho heavyweight champion. This two-time champion comes in this match. He was also in the finals just two weeks ago against current Canadian heavyweight champion Wild Bill Longson. Definitely a tough, tough customer and somebody to be reckoned with. Sky High Lee, out of Texas, 29 years old, just had his birthday yesterday, and this is a rematch of the opening round of the Canadian Heavyweight Tournament in which Al Mills won. Should be a good matchup. <clears throat> Mills was able to get the pinfall back on January 6th. Lee has been stewing for over a month that his exit from the tournament was so short, was so quick. Lee's definitely got the height advantage. Mills a little bit on the weight advantage. Mills also the experience. He is 44 years old, nearing the end of his career. Lee just 29, as we said, he had his birthday yesterday on February 9th. This should be a good match. Referee calls for the bell and Lee comes out flying, but Mills hits him with a back elbow. Mills drops the knee right across Lee's neck, and Mills is on top. He's definitely one of the top contenders here in Calgary, or in Ottawa. Mills comes in with a clothesline in the corner. Lee's trying to jump up, but Mills is giving him no rest. He's going to hook him into a clutch move from behind. A rear chin lock of sorts. Could be a quick victory. Lee comes out the back door and flips Mills onto his face. Huge right hand punch. Blown a punch to the gut. Lee throwing Mills backwards. Another hard right hand. Mills catches it and slaps him. Oh, what a disturbing move. The two collide, nothing happens. Mills whipping Lee into the corner. Mills just taking his time, calculating what to do to his opponent as he drives the knee across the chest of Sky High Lee. Neither men are very well liked here in, in Ottawa as Lee takes Mills down. It's back and forth action early on in this contest to open our show. Some hard right hands. Lee going to town. <clears throat> Now he's ramming Mills head first into the turnbuckle. Mills stumbles out. 
And Lee is going to take advantage. He's going to cover him. But Mills is able to kick out at one. Mills flips Lee over. And a rear choke. A rear chin lock. Choke would be illegal. Mills currently holds two different titles across the northwest areas of the country, of Canada and America. Trying to break through here in the east. Driving the elbow. Right into Sky High Lee's chest. Now stomping away at the hand. Now Mills is relentless. This is how he won the uh, matchup back in January in the tournament. Again, stomping at the elbow, forcing the pressure down backwards. Sky High blocks. Oh, and he clotheslines Mills right out of the ring. We are not sanctioned by the National Wrestling Alliance, so that was not an illegal move. Drops an elbow on top of, of Mills from the top rope. That's a dangerous move, especially for a man his size. And Mills with a fireman's carry takedown. Backbreaker out on the floor. The referee counting both men out. Mills tossing Lee back in and he follows him. Back inside the ring now. You got to win this match inside the ring if you want to get a clean victory. Trying for body slam, but Lee blocks it. Oh, and Lee with a tackle. Going for the cover. Mills kicks out at two. Sky High Lee, currently winless in his Canadian Championship Wrestling career. He's had great success all across Canada, however. The evil tall Texan. And Mills is up. The fans sort of seem to might be on Mills side being that he is Canadian. Lee! Oh, whoa, whoa. Driving Mills throat first across the top rope. And he's going for a scoop slam and a backbreaker. Dragging Mills in. He's going to walk right across him. Whoa, what a move. Oh, Mills showing just how tall he is. Trying to get the fans on his side, Lee, but it does not seem to be happening. Grabs him by the neck, picks him up, throat first, and drives him square down on the mat, and he goes for cover. One, two, and three. Sky high, Lee gets the victory. He gets revenge for the matchup back in January. He gets to set the... His career back to on a positive note. And the long, tall Texan celebrates a win. Mills looking dejected after that loss. So thank you for joining us. We've got a couple more matches on tap later on in the show we're gonna see uh whipper billy watson taking on a, a newcomer to the to ottawa donald wilson and baron horst Mueller, the ex-german intelligence officer wrestling against fast freddie franks you're watching canadian championship wrestling on your home here in ottawa for family entertainment the next match on the card is Youngster Donald Wilson at just 25 years old going up against the veteran whipper Billy Watson Watson who had been entered into the Canadian heavyweight tournament was upset in the first round He'll make his second appearance on Canadian wrestling while Donald Wilson making his debut here on Friday nights in Ottawa <clears throat> Watson the veteran of 34 years Thirty-four years old, sorry. Going up against Watson or Wilson. Let's head down to the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. 
making his way to the ring from Boise, Idaho, weighing in at 264 pounds, Donald Wilson. Donald Wilson making his first appearance here in Ottawa. Comes to us wrestling out of the NWA Northwestern areas. He's been wrestling for about eight months professionally. They say in his spare time he was a a security guard. However, he recently gave that up to begin traveling to wrestle professionally. Whipper Billy Watson, the former NWA World Champion, also former NWA British Commonwealth Champion, just recently lost that title back on January 25th. January wasn't a kind month to him. As he lost in the first round. Oh, he's the British Empire Champion. Yeah, the, he was the British Empire Heavyweight Champion. Yeah, the British Empire Heavyweight Champion. He lost in the first round for the Canadian Heavyweight Tournament here. He title tournament. He tries to get back on pace. This will be interesting to see how the newcomer fares against the ring veteran. As always in Ottawa Canadian Wrestling, we have 60 minute time limit matches. And we're underway. Watson looking to tie up Wilson, bending his arms backwards, looking for a submission as he cranks back on his own back, teaching the youngster a lesson. Now stomps away. Wilson getting the edge now with a souple. <clears throat> Coming back on Will Watson. He's going to drive. Throws him over the top rope. And look at the curtsy to the fans. Looking for approval. They're none too happy about their favorite Watson being tossed over. But Watson coming back with a fury. Delivering a knee breaker. Wilson with a kick. Low kick. Snapmare driving the elbow into Wilt Watson's head. Oh, a chop to the chest. Watson reversing things. Slamming him into the ring apron. The referee is up to a six count. And he tosses Wilson back in the ring, and Watson follows. Breaking the count up. We're barely a minute and a half into this match. Watson goes for the first cover. But Wilson kicks out with ease. However, Watson is, Watson is a ring veteran, and he jumps right on Wilson and locks him in some kind of uh, neck twister. Wilson getting to a stomach. Wilson does have a size advantage on the former NWA champion. One of the few men in Whipper Billy Watson who has beaten the great Luthez. He held the NWA World's title for about six months. And but Wilson right now in control and he locks on the chin lock. Putting his weight on top of Watson's chest, trying to bear down on his 252 pound frame. But Watson's back up, breaks the hold. A little confusion as the two jockey for position and Watson into the corner, but he comes back with a back elbow. Missing wildly with a chop. Watson sent in the corner. Wilson picking him up. What's he going to do? He's going to try and stun Watson. He's going to the top rope himself. Very dangerous move. This could injure both men, derail their careers. Both of them are hurting. Wilson is getting back to his feet. Watson's right back up, though. And Watson, whoa, with a flying head scissors takedown. 
Look at the agility from the ring veteran. As he's now stomping away on his young opponent. Looking to twist his arm up. And yank back. Trying to dislocate, hyperextend the shoulder. Now he's tying Wilson all the way up. He's putting him into a pretzel. And he's got him trapped in an own vice. Oh! Watson with a boot right to the nether regions. Wilson will have trouble sitting down tomorrow. And now he's got him locked up in a leg grapevine as he locks on a chin lock. And we've got a submission. Folks, three minutes and 46 seconds. Whipper Billy Watson is your winner. Dominating performance. Looking to get back on track. Here he went for an early cover. He would end up winning the ring. Here is the lock and the leg up in a, in a grapevine. Putting on the chin lock. And Wilson's got no choice but to give up. And we're your winner, Whipper Billy Watson by submission. Again, the time, 3 minutes and 46 seconds. Stay tuned for more action here tonight on Canadian Championship Wrestling. Coming up next, you will see Baron Horst Mueller, the evil ex-German soldier, taking on fast Freddy Franks. <clears throat> we'll be right back. All right, it's time for the main event tonight, folks, as the Houston Texan native Fast Freddy Franks takes on the Baron Horst Mueller out of Berlin, Germany. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Berlin, Germany, weighing in at 232 pounds, Baron Horst Mueller. Baron Horst Mueller. One of the evil generals, or one of the evil leaders in the German World War II effort. The 37-year-old comes to Ottawa, living in asylum, and trying to dominate the wrestling world. The fans here in Ottawa, none too happy to see the Baron walk in the ring. This will be his third appearance so far on Ottawa Television, Canadian Championship Wrestling here on Friday nights. And he's got the lovable Texan, Fast Freddie Franks, to take on the 40-year-old out of Houston, Texas. And his opponent from Houston, Texas, weighing in at 333 pounds, Mr. Frank. Fast Freddie Franks. The fans, they're cheering for him now. Normally, they don't know much about this guy. He's a bit of an unknown. Wrestled down in Texas over the last 20 or so years. But he said in a local paper when this match was announced that he was planning to show Mr. Mueller exactly what American resilience and allied resilience means up here in Canada. American and Canada allies, of course, in World War II. Mueller escaped with his life from World War II and now he is wrestling in Ottawa. And just as evil as ever. Where's the scars of battle on his face? Oh, and Mueller right away kicking to the knee. Neck breaker on Franks. Driving both knees right into the Franks skull. Franks. Mueller has a height advantage, but Mueller, uh, Franks has the weight. Franks with a belly-to-back suplex. And a little bit of a stomp there. Clubbing blow to the back. Oh, Mueller with a running, diving neck breaker. And already looking like he's got some kind of issue with his shoulder. He's going to whip Franks into the corner. And follow in with the lariat. Using pressure and stomping on Frank's arm as he works over that left elbow and wrist. Dropping a leg. <laughs> Frank.
Franks with an uppercut. He's going to whip Mueller into the corner. Flips him out. What a maneuver. The agility from this 330 plus pound fast Freddie Franks. High knee right into the side of Mueller's skull. And slaps him for good measure. Throwing him neck first into the back. The fans not really thrilled about this match. This is our main event. Mueller drops the knee. Dragon Franks in the middle of the ring. It could be all over. Measures and drops the fist right into the temple. And he locks on the chin lock now. This could be over, folks. He could have Franks worn down enough. Mueller getting frustrated. Dragon Franks over toward the ropes. What's he going to do? Goes for the cover. Foot up on the ropes. Oh, and Franks is able to kick out. The fans are really soured on that move. Mueller driving Franks head first into the mat. Franks with a takedown. Doesn't follow up right away, but does stomp. Turns Mueller over. Now stomping to the back of the arm. Mueller had a problem with that arm earlier in the match, and he goes for the cover, but doesn't hook anything. And Mueller is able to escape, just like he did back in World War II. Oh, but Franks is not letting up. He is going to stand on Mueller's face and rub his foot into his eyes. <clears throat> Driving the knee right into the back, right in the spine of the Baron. Wrenching back on the wrists. Putting extra force into it. Mueller to his feet, trying to get to his feet. He's up there. Gets one arm free and elbows his way out of it. Vicious clothesline from the Baron. Dragging Franks into the middle of the ring now. Goes for the cover. One, two, and Franks kicks out. Franks bringing Mueller, or Mueller bringing Franks up. Franks reverses it into a lariat of his own. Slamming his foot into the into his shoulder blade. And now a little bit of a choke. This match is getting vicious between these two men. Franks with a spine buster. On a much larger Baron. As he waits for him to get up. Into a bear hug. Oh my goodness, a superhuman power out of Fast Freddy Franks as he just throws him over the top of his head and now he's going for the cover. This could be it. Franks could have come back too. And Mueller kicks out at the last possible second, getting his shoulder up. But Mueller is not moving fast. He is back on his back. Franks measures him, whips Mueller into the ropes. Comes off with a back elbow. Playing to the crowd. Whips Mueller into the corner. Oh, Mueller with a big boot right upside Frank's head. Neck breaker. Uh, Mueller showing his superiority, or at least in his mind, his superiority. As he drives him foot first. Lariat, another one. Comes off the ropes. A leg lariat. Frank's is now moving. Mueller picks him up. Going with a front wrist lock. Oh, Mueller, Franks reverses it. Knee to the face. Spine buster. Mueller might have hit his head against the top turnbuckle on his way down. Franks now stomps on the back of the arm. Drags Mueller into the center of the ring and goes for the cover. Back and forth action. One, two, and three. And fast Freddie Franks in somewhat of an upset. Gets the victory in defeating the evil German. But the crowd loves it. It was a back and forth match. And there he is, the winner on this main event here on this February 10th episode of Canadian Championship Wrestling from Ottawa. Fast. Freddie Franks. Make sure you join us next week.
as Wild Bill Longson defends the Canadian heavyweight title against Vern Gagne. Mueller walks away with his head down. Franks advances. Thanks for joining us this week from Ottawa. Enjoy your week, and we will see you next week for the big Canadian championship match.